Hi everyone, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest bringing you another video. So today I want to talk about a shrub that I plugged into my landscape here a couple years ago to fill a spot that uh, is by our front porch and uh, prior to getting the shrub this little spot was just kind of filled in with uh, I think I tried a rhododendron here I wasn't really satisfied with it so I got rid of the rhododendron and I went with this coral berry. Now this is a cultivar called proud berry it's a proven winner plant but I have to say this is a wonderful uh, it's a native hybrid but it's still a wonderful plant for the landscape it gets wonderful pink berries on it in the fall as you can see this is a very quick growing plant it, th this thing filled in this spot in one season uh, I just want trying to get a better shot of this so right now this this shrub is probably about maybe four by four it uh, it flowers and produces berries on new wood so you can come back in here in the spring and cut this thing all the way to the ground and it's going to grow back. It's going to flower and produce berries in one season. That's another thing that I like about this plant. So, so if it ever gets a little bit out of control, I can just come in here, I can clip it back, and it's going to look fabulous. Uh, another thing that I like about this plant is it gets these little bell-shaped flowers on it by the hundreds, and it's covered with bees in the, in the uh, spring. The bees love this plant. Uh, and the hummingbirds also love this plant. I've seen hummingbirds out here. I've literally seen hummingbirds spend five minutes going over this plant, hitting every flower. In fact, they seem to prefer this over, you know, the hummingbird feeders that we hang out in our garden. And it's actually better for them because, you know, when they're feeding on plants, they're actually getting not just the nectar, they're also getting the micronutrients and the vitamins and minerals that are in the nectar as opposed to just sugar water. So if you know if you're looking for a uh, a plant that fills in quick, gets beautiful fall berries on it, I would definitely highly recommend this. Uh, the one thing I will say is that uh, you know the fall color on this is uh, it's not that great. It's just a washed out yellow, but that's okay. I think it more than makes up for it with the berries. I think uh, the fact that it uh, it can be cut back and kept under control. I think the fact that uh, you know it's so attractive to hummingbirds and bees and all that more than make up for you know maybe it's lack of uh, autumn brilliance and uh so there you go you know i hope you like this video uh i would definitely uh look for this online or maybe i uh, have seen this at garden centers so you can you know go to your local garden center and see if they have it or see if they carry it if they if they carry proven winners plants they can probably get this plant for you this shrub for you so there you go this is coral berry Hope you have a great day. Bye.